Hello, everyone. I am warm. This is day three, I think, of, gosh, I've lost track of the days. But we've been having some crazy weather here in Texas, and a lot of people are without power and water, and I thought, I'm living through a historical event right now. Might kind of be fun is not the word, but insightful to record and look back on. I am conserving electricity by my thermostat is set to 70 degrees. I have natural light going on in the living room and then I've just got a candle and my TV in my room. I've also got the shades are mostly drawn. It's darker in my bedroom to keep the heat inside. Um, just in the event that my power might go off? God forbid. Um, I have not showered in a while because there is, there hasn't been water. And the water that is coming out of my kitchen sink is not probably the cleanest, so I'm not even gonna try with the shower right now. We're under a, what's called a boil water order, I think, where it's like any water you get, make sure you boil it to kill any germs before you drink it. So let me explain what I'm doing for water and food right now. One of my friends, they, their heat is not working at their house, so they went over to a family friend's and they're all huddled up there. Um, but they had a bunch of extra water. And I was like, I will take that! So I have about a gallon of distilled water that I've been starting to go through today, as well as another gallon of water over there on my fridge. And then food, food. I am so thankful that I meal preps at the beginning of the week. I have lots of chicken. I have, um, I can make myself a couple grilled cheeses. And then with some of this water I have, I can also probably make myself a couple pots of ramen, should it come to it. And then I have apples, I have milk. I could make myself a smoothie too. I think I'll be good food wise for at least the next 24 hours. Also, for those of you wondering, my plants are doing well. They're a little dormant. They're not being as dramatic, and I, I think they're doing all right, all things considered. This is my friend's French horn. Her house is so cold that she can see her breath, and that's not good for a musical instrument. I, however, have heat, so she brought the horn over to my place and I am watching her baby while she and her housemates go somewhere else. This is my screen door, which came off of the hinge thing. I don't know what to call it. It came out of its frame when I was out scooping some snow off of my porch. Look at that. I have just a little supply there for whenever I need to boil some snow in a pot. Behold our neighborhood supply of toilet water. The snow is really pretty though. Too bad Texas just is not prepared for this and there's a lot of people without power right now. It's bad. This has not been a good past 365 days to be a senior citizen. And it's snowing again. We are not prepared for this. Ooh, I have icicles. Oh look, it's snowing in my game of Stardew Valley too. Oh, it's so cute. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do around the apartment without Wi-Fi currently. Uh, my internet provider, they're down citywide. I actually just got back from my friend's apartment. He has the same internet provider as I, and while we're while we were out with Wi-Fi, we were just like, let's at least have uh, some company while we're going through this together. <laughs> so I am back from that, and I am ready to go to bed because I woke up at six this morning to do some yoga, and I think I'm gonna do it again tomorrow because I'm trying to develop discipline. Well, that didn't work. It's noon and I am still in bed. The water towers are back online. I have clean water. So it felt so good to take a hot shower again this morning after 
48 plus hours. So I'm gonna brew myself some coffee, and then I think I'm going to spend most of the day reading and playing a little bit of Stardew Valley offline on my computer. And then I'll probably do a workout. It's Wednesday, February 17th, and we will see what the day has in store. Nothing has changed. My Wi-Fi is still down. It's time for bed. I have been so bored that I decided to brush out my hair. I think it's a look. I want this thing to be over! Praise be, the Wi-Fi is back on and I can get back to Shit's Creek. When this week started, I was in the middle of season one. I have reached season four. My amazing friends stood in line at the grocery store for me and while they were getting their groceries, they also got me groceries. So I am stocked back up on food. Mm, mm, mm. Home workout is done. I have a lovely candle burning. and ah, I'm just really proud of the mood that I created in my room today. So now I'm gonna have my protein shake and then I am going to make a frozen pizza because, oh, I just wanna eat a bunch of calories right now. All right, I am all settled in for my solo wine and pizza night. I'm just gonna watch movies and listen to music and stay up until two when the new episode of WandaVision comes out. We're starting with Treasure Planet. I have never seen this before, but I saw it on my friend's feed earlier today and I thought, hmm, maybe, maybe I should watch this. I've also seen that TikTok where <laughs> the person sees whoever this main character is face and then the bum bum bee dum bum bum bee. What's wrong with me? Why do I feel like this? Starts playing. <laughs> Maybe it'll happen to me. It'll probably also happen to me as well. I like his hair. All right, let's start. Okay, Treasure Planet is criminally underrated. That was amazing. All right, it's Friday, I think. Woo! It is Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> and Let's pretend it's Friday. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. No, We've it's decided it is Friday. This is what happens when two Aries get together. Ow! <laughs> we just need a Leo in the backseat and a Sagittarius in the trunk. Absolutely. So I'm going into work this afternoon and Kit and I are driving around town. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a peek at what this town looks like. Oh my gosh, that snow is nasty right now. If the snow is white, it's just right. Yellow or green, it ain't clean. And if it gray, it ain't okay. First one to get out and take a swim in the puddle gets no dollars. Like a Ew. That's just sludge. There's just sludge everywhere. Do we not have the infrastructure for snow? But God did not design Texas for snow. This was not mm, exhibit. I egg. was not built for this weather. This is not where you would come and shoot a Hallmark movie. Well, like that looks so pristine and like so so mm -hmm. beautiful. Like, because it's untouched. It's but we have vehicles here. Oh, that's a green light. <laughs> Gonna be really fun about all of this is that we don't have drainage in this town so there's nowhere that is for the fun part. all this melty stuff to go <laughs> uh, i almost went ice skating earlier when i was walking down the street like the, like the snow was packed so much mm -hmm. that i was like i could just slide 
I was like, did you voluntarily go ice skating, <laughs> or did you like accidentally go? Ice I was walking with coffee, and I just didn't want to spill anything. Check my flesh. <laughs> um, As you see here, I have, I have no, no flesh. flesh. <laughs> um, but I'm sure you've noticed that like the state highways are clean and. These highways, or these streets, are still messy with snow. Yeah. Because the federal government has the budget, and the federal government takes care of those state highways. But but these little little bit of roads. Our little town said snow, ice, what? Snow hurts. Never gonna happen. Never. Never. <laughs> Winter storms, fantasy. It's a lie. Conspiracy, like chemtrails. It's a conspiracy. It's the 5G of weather. How is 5G a conspiracy? Five, there's a conspiracy that like 5G, like, oh, uh, I don't know, it was like mind control or something. I'm not lying. Like, like the data? Like, yeah. like 5G? Guys, Dre got me a donut and it warmed my little heart. It's a thing I, do I do that every Friday now? We, we get donuts every Friday. So I, I just think, give I you, think like, it's every Friday. Numbers. It's, yeah. if not every Friday, regularly. That's I just finished an ab workout and then I was, I spent an hour at work today shoveling ice out of our ice maker because it was made from dirty water. So we just had to clean that thing out. So I'm tired. It has been a long week, and this town is just gonna be nasty for probably the next week, so I think I've shown you guys the best of what we have to offer right now. Temperatures are rising above freezing. I think it's, it's only getting down to 30 tonight, which is so much better than the nights before when it was getting down to 10 degrees and lower. Aveline set record temperatures. Um, this year for, I think the previous record was set back in uh, the early 2000s and it was still double digit temperatures. We got down to single digit temperatures and in some parts of the town even it was recorded zero degrees. Um, so this has just been a wild, wild week. When I saw that it was gonna be getting cold and snowing, I got really excited thinking I was gonna be able to play out in the snow for a bit with my friends. That did not happen. I encourage you guys to do some research about what is going on in Texas right now and what has happened. I have shown you kind of a lighthearted side of what is going on, um, but this has affected a lot of people in a very serious way. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I wanted to do something different and I figured, uh, I've been living through a few major historical events lately, so I might as well document some of them, you know? Life is crazy right now. The planet is crazy right now. People are crazy. I just want to remind you guys to be kind, take care of each other, um, and take care of yourselves as well. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. And I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye.